greets you when you walk into the Sanford School of Public Policy at Duke University. It is a photo gallery, an exhibit honoring the life and legacy of the school's namesake, Terry Sanford. The exhibit has been here since 2009, but it wasn't until last year that a photograph in this gallery came up for discussion. It's just the second week of the semester at Duke University. The term so far has been marked by Wednesday's rally to change the name of the car building on East Campus. Silent Sam's toppling has also echoed down Tobacco Road. It is the time that we live in. There is polarization on a number of issues, um, but there's also a, a strong desire for uh, unification and for uh, a reckoning uh, and a resolution of of history. Pictures in Duke School of Public Policy document part of North Carolina's history, especially when it comes to former president and governor and school namesake Terry Sanford. And one of those images was a stock photo. It was, had nothing to do with Sanford himself. It was a stock photo of a Ku Klux Klan rally in Greensboro in 1963. This week, the dean of the school announced that the picture would come down noting that quote over time many members of our community have raised concerns that daily exposure to this image in their place of work and study has been deeply troubling for them about the fact that they that they they walked into this building and uh, were confronted immediately by this image uh, this very disturbing image that really wasn't connected at all to the um, to Terry Sanford himself or, or to the school. A new picture of Sanford meeting with protesters is already in place tonight. It too is a very powerful image and shows uh, a, a governor who was um, courageous in his words and courageous in his deeds uh, taking action. You don't rip a picture off the wall. You don't make these decisions lightly, whether it's changing the name of a building or uh, changing or mo moving or removing a piece of art. As for the car building, a committee is forming to evaluate the proposal made by the history department. Duke's president will then ask that committee to make recommendations by the end of the year before that is sent on to the Board of Trustees. At Duke University, I'm Josh Chapin, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.